to say that poetry, music, art uh, was also a very big part of our upbringing in our family and in the, in, the, in the social and cultural environment that I lived in. These things were all seen as a necessary part of being human and uh, of, of uh, enhancing, improving our understanding of the world in general and of what we like to call God, so ultimate meaning, uh, both for us individually but also as a community, as the group of people living together. On the other side of words, beyond adjectives and metaphors, beyond the comparisons and differences, beyond the actions of verbs and the definition of noun names, there the dead are asleep, in a wordless ever night, a never light twilight, on the other side of words. I don't like the word poetry. Um, you know, jazz musicians uh, uniformly complain about the word jazz and how jazz doesn't at all explain what it is they're trying to do as jazz musicians. And I think most poets feel the same about this word poetry. Uh, it's about using the language that we have in the most immediate, intense, effective way that we possibly can. And that's what I was taught uh, both at school and, interestingly, in church. Every week you're singing the psalms, uh, you're praying, you're hearing all of this language that is making you concentrate. On this planet where some few can engrave with pulse slowed, breath held, a poem onto a human hair, on this planet the size of a sunspot, an outrush from one of the sun's pores, an open furnace door, on this planet, whose every plant and creature seeks fullness of being, a poignant efflorescence, we cannot hear those choirs that praise under the cathedral light of heaven, the source, the mystery, which holds us all in life, yet catch echoes of their frequencies in sacred music here, rising like incense, from chapel, mosque and temple, from grasslands, rainforest, desert, a holy hearkening, the sound of radiance. Poetry is not journalism. Uh, poetry is not celebrity interview. It's, it's not... Uh, a uh, kind of a colour article in the weekend supplement. What I mean by that is that we have this great thing, the English language, we have a prose that can inform us, tell us all sorts of things, but there's a lot of things that it can't do in those forms, which, and that's why we have poetry. It is getting through to the personal. It's a way of talking about things that's very immediate, it's florets of thought that take the palm. But remember to use moderation in jokes. The gods, those connoisseurs of quipping, as they suppose, are easily bored. A dolphin in the woods, a boar in the waves, it's all too Disney for the deathless. And they won't buy the smoke you blow. Cheese is healthy when given with a sparing hand. And... An empty keg is easily rolled. Even a hair has its shadow. The ticket to dis is always single. A gilded bit won't cure a horse if he's turned funk stick and propped. And yes, new fields of corn are waving where Troy once stood. They change the sky, but not their soul who run across the sea. The impartial earth gapes for the child of a pauper as for a princeling. Forget the abacus when you're counting the lucky. They're matched by white crows. At a crossroads, a hare is biffing a dead lion. Some wolves shepherding their flock, a jackdaw declining the loot. All praise to virtue, shivering in the arctic weather. But silver won't stink 
and every staff of empires truly crooked at the top. Good luck to you, son. Remember the fig tree. It turns marble to shards. We are living in an age, in Australia, in an age of extraordinary poetic expression, which a lot of Australians who don't read poetry are not aware of. But if you read poetry all the time, like I do, it is everywhere. And one of the things that it's doing is that it is questioning and is in reaction to the, majority, the, the seemingly majority media culture, which is about silencing or trying to quieten down all of these questions that people are asking. So um, in simple terms, Eureka Street um, is going to keep on having poetry because it is a, a, a linguistic means of saying things that are not otherwise being said in the public forum. If there were no birds, would we invent them? Certainly we dream of flight, but would our imagination stretch to them? And what else is beyond our capacity to visualise? We dream as many things, although there are limitations, some things defy us. Birds not only have wings, uh, they make movement. Something to surprise us each time. They make us rejoice whenever they come. We are stuck to the ground, and to the ground we eventually come. Even though we invented a sort of flight, we kid ourselves. We are permitted to dream, but our dreams are half-hearted. There are some things we are able to know, and there are things beyond us. We invented gunpowder. Poetry has always, both in the English language and in, in all, all other languages, been a, a mode, a means to expressing the spiritual in people's lives. Um, it's interesting this year that uh, we are seeing the 400th anniversary of the first printing of the King James Bible. I'll put, say incidentally, it is the 401st anniversary of the publication of the complete Dewey Bible. Both of these English Bibles make us see, when we read them, that the holy people, the rabbis and church people, who put together the canon, the so-called canon of the Bible, that is, the, the, what are they all doing? They are including in their writing, in, in all of this writing, poetry. Poetry is actually right through the entire Bible. And why is that? Because they want to put, there are, there are ways of talking about God, ways of talking to God, ways of talking about um, human interaction that can only be said or can be said best in poetry. So there we were, tramping up country, nowhere near the end of the world, though maybe it felt like that, especially when, at sunset, the forest subsided into the eeriest hush. And we might then have glimpsed that point of infinite grace they talk about in the old scriptures. But once omnipotent night slid over the campsite to reveal nothing beyond a black more dazzling than any darkness could contain. All we could do was inhale an immense presence touching everything which we called faith. <laughs>